Don't blow at me though. Don't blow at me though. Don't blow at me though. Because girls really do be leeching off of niggas. Like, y'all don't have nothing to bring to the table. But y'all want a nigga to buy you a Chanel bag. You can't even buy your own Chanel bag. You know what I'm saying? You know, my mama always tell me, always have your own. Whatever a nigga do is just extra. 120? 2, 220 together. Everything. 220? You hit my. <laughs> my <laughs> oh. Come on, girl. I speak English, not Vietnamese, okay? She did not speak See, English. <laughs> you try to speak English. Oh, I try. Okay, you're right. Y'all know I love a heel. Do I look like a tennis shoe, bitch, to you? And this is the good part. He's the good part. Like, I'm just so happy. Walking your trap and take over. Over. Name another bitch that's cold. Name another bitch that's cold. I just bought a brand new Rover. Rover. I don't even drive no more. I got a chauffeur. Took off, man, they asking me to slow up. Took off. Getting wise, I had my money getting older. older. And that bitch, I ain't even gonna hold you. And that bitch, and I thought that it took Hey, Bougie Bags, it's the Barbie, and I am back with another video for a time subscriber. Hey, if you're new here, do not be subscribed and join the Bougie Crew. Come to the Bougie Bar in LA, period. So, today, I literally just woke up. Literally? Oh, shit. Ooh. Don't blow at me, though. Don't blow at me, though. Don't blow at me, though. But I literally, um, watch they blow at me, and I'm gonna be pissed. But I literally just, anyways, I'm not gonna worry about them. I literally just woke up. I took a quick shower, um, curled my hair, put some quick curls in my hair. <laughs> I don't know why I woke because my appointment, my nail appointment is at 11 30 and I woke up at 11 o'clock. Yeah. I woke up at 11 o'clock and I didn't think that I was gonna be rushing like this. Um, but that's only because I want to put some curls in my hair. So it's 11 23 and I got seven minutes to get to my appointment. But I don't care because Sarah is always late, y'all. Watch when I get there. She's gonna be like, why do y'all mama spend? Now, <laughs> bitch, the fuck? See, motherfuckers be scary. Don't try to blow the horn when I drive off. Girl, see? No, I'm weak. Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna let that go. We're we gonna, we gonna let that ride. We're gonna let that slide. But y'all, that's so funny. Like, I literally said they go blow at me. We sitting at the light for a long time. They blow when I go through the light. When the light turn green, they finally blow at me. Shut the fuck up, for real. Like, shut up. Like, that was just so dry and so late. Anyway. So, um. We're doing a nail vlog today. I don't know how I want my nails. I think I want to get something Valentine's Day theme. Um. Because Valentine's Day is around the corner and my vision board party is next week. So I don't know, I kinda wanna get something like pink, red. I don't know, I kinda wanna get like some lips or something on my nails. I don't know what I wanna get, but I wanna get I don't know. I should have brought my bougie way sticker so I could have got my logo on my nails. With some lips and stuff. But anyways, um yes yeah, so Valentine's Day is coming up and let me ask the people. Do y'all get y'all men something for Valentine's Day? I don't know. I, I haven't had a man in so long. I don't even know what's what's what. <laughs> I don't know what's what. You know what I'm saying? Um, like these days, you know, it's different. I ain't had no man in so long, y'all. I don't know. Should I get my, my man something for Valentine's Day? Like, are the, do they expect something? I mean, I think I, I did ask him. Does he expect anything? He said no, but I just be feeling like... But should I still give him something? You know, to show my appreciation? <laughs> like I said in my last video, like I like to show him my appreciation for the things that he does for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, I'm just asking the people because I really honestly don't know if, you know, if we get guys stuff for Valentine's Day these days. Um, when I was in my relationship back then, I didn't get him nothing for Valentine's Day. I feel like it's a girl's holiday. But like I said, things have changed. So let me know below in the comments. I'm glad this video is gonna go up before Valentine's Day so y'all can let me know because I don't know. Right. Like, and, and then I have some I have some gifts in mind that I want to get him. You know, to show my appreciation, to let him know that I'm just the type of girlfriend. Let me just put it like this. Let me just put it like this, real easy and simple. I'm the type of girlfriend that not finna, I, I don't just look for you to spoil me. I spoil back. You know what I'm saying? I got my own. That's rich bitch energy, okay? I'm not one of these leeches. These leeching ass hoes. I'm not one of them. I don't expect for you to do it. Buy me gifts. Do everything. Do all this. And I don't do nothing. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm not like that. Like, I like to spoil my meat. As long as he's doing it to me, then I'm going to do it to him. Like, I'm going to give it to him in return. Y'all know what? I seen a um, meme the other day. It was really last night. It was. It said the goal is two. The goal is two bosses, not a boss and a leech. <laughs> it was something like that. And I felt that one because girls really do be leeching off of niggas. Like, y'all don't have nothing to bring to the table. But y'all want a nigga to buy you a Birkin. Y'all want a nigga to buy you a Chanel bag. You can't even buy your own Chanel bag. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be asking for stuff that y'all can't even afford yourself. But you want a nigga to buy? So then when y'all just break up, you just got a Chanel bag. Nothing to your name. Just, you know, back to square one with your Chanel bag. Like, it's just like, have something going for yourself. You can't always depend on people. My mama always taught me to never, ever depend on nobody. Like, my mama taught me that from... You know what I'm saying? Shit. <laughs> okay. Mama always told me never ever depend on nobody. Nobody. Because ain't, ain't nobody going to come through for you like yourself. Okay. You can't depend on nobody. When it comes to anything. When it comes to a meal. When it comes to a gift. When it comes to some bills. You cannot depend on nobody. You got to always have your shit together. You know, my mama always told me always have your own. Whatever a nigga do is just extra. Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't ever depend on nobody to do nothing for you. You cannot be a leech out here in these streets. A nigga is not going to really respect you like that. He not going to really want to be with you because you were leeching. You ain't got nothing going for yourself. You just leeching off of him for everything. For the bills. For the meals. For what else? For the bills. For the meals. For everything. You know what I'm saying? For your wardrobe. For literally everything. Like, I understand that a man should provide and do everything, but at the same time, you gotta have your own shit too. You gotta have your own shit together too. I never wanted, I never, man, I ain't never been that type of female to just want a nigga to do everything for me. I've always done everything for myself, so that's why I deserve so much when it comes to this type of shit. Like, when it comes to relationship shit, like, I deserve so much because I've never had any help from nobody. Like, I've always, always, done everything for myself with no help like i've never had any help you know what i'm saying and and i've never like i've always been the type to be so like scared to ask people for stuff like when i did used to need help i was just i never asked people for stuff because i was just so scared like because any like people they they try to bring it up in your face like later on like remember i did this for you remember i helped you pay this no you didn't help me do shit my nigga nothing you know what i'm saying that's that's friend relationship whatever like nobody can say they helped me do nothing y'all didn't help me do nothing okay like can't nobody ever say they put me in a position to where i am in today and i already told y'all this because i literally did this shit from the ground up like hard work dedication like no help you know what I'm saying? Like, and then it's just like, now that I'm in a relationship now, I just feel like he kind of like, my mama was saying the other day, she was like, um, I love that when we was on the phone and she was asking me what did I need for the vision board party or something. And then he was asking like, what all did I need? Like, what did, what did, he, what did I need him to get? You know what I'm saying? And she was like, nobody has ever like, you know what I'm saying? Helped you like that. Cause you always have to do everything for yourself. And I said, I know that's so true. Like I always have to do everything by myself. Like I literally have to figure it out by myself. And I mean, it's okay, <laughs> but sometimes it does get like, tiring so I just really like I just feel like this relationship gonna be the one you know what I'm saying because I'm really loving it here you know but yeah so that's what I really wanted to talk to y'all about I didn't really mean to get all up in there like that you know it just kind of happened <laughs> when I start talking I just start running at the mouth but I'm late it's 11 31 and I'm still about five minutes away. It should be okay because oh, I need to text the dude that did my car. I need to text him because I'm trying to get a new color on my car, y'all. I didn't even have time to put my lashes on or nothing. Like, but I'm trying to get a new color on my car, so I need to text him and ask him, can I just get a new color instead of him touch up this color? See what he's talking about. And I need to go get my like my license plate. I got my license plate. Um. I got me a customized license plate made that I have not picked up. I've been and got this license plate made 
oh my god over six months ago and i had told y'all that they had um they didn't approve it because of what it says so i had to send it to corporate i had to send what it meant i had because they thought it meant like a cuss word and i'm like no nigga like what are y'all talking about like so I literally, my mom had to type up something to send to them and then we have to send pictures of my car. We have to send pictures of my business so we can prove what my license plate stood for. So literally my license plate been in the works for like six months. Literally like that's so funny. And I find they finally sent it and it finally got delivered like two weeks ago and I still have to pick it up. So I'm gonna go pick up my license plate probably like next week or so. I don't know. I really want to wait till I get my new color on my car now. I just be having like, I be having to do stuff in like a certain order. But, ooh, content with that color gonna be hard. Even if I don't get my color redone now, I'm definitely gonna get it redone in the spring, for sure. Like, you know, spring, summertime, it's definitely gonna give a summer vibe. So I'm definitely gonna get my car redone. It's gonna be a glossy color. I'm not gonna tell y'all. Seen it on the gram, you know what I'm saying? I was like, ooh, my Q8 will look so fine in that color. So, I'm going to get my car redone probably like in March. Um, so, I might get it touched up now and then get it redone in like March, April, May. No, March, April. Probably around like after spring break, I might get it done. But, yeah, so you guys, we're going to go get our nails done. We're going to get a whole new, we're going to get a whole new set. Pedicure, the, the highest pedicure on the chart much needed um and then i need to get an eyebrow wax a lip wax and then i need to go across the street to the urban mall so i can um then i need to go across the street to the mall so i can see if they have me so, so i can see if they have something to wear for the vision board party so that way i won't have to order nothing so i'm gonna have to go up there and look it's only two stores i go in so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna go back home edit and um i need to finish this last chapter of um because it drops February 2nd, which is around the corner, which is next week. <laughs> Bro, I know you didn't just pull out shit like that for real. But yeah, so next week, the, the course drops February 2nd. And when I get home, I'm actually going to sit down and do a brief little um, video overview. Well, she's not on Instagram no more. She not? Um, yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna pull up y'all. Let me call my mama because she asked me a whole bunch of questions and she's really making me nervous. Like, girl, just search the web. <laughs> my mama, she is not tech savvy at all. She want me to do everything when it comes to the computer, but that's okay because I'll be wanting her to do everything when it comes to talking on the phone. Like, I don't make none of my appointments, I don't call and talk to nobody. <laughs> One thing about it, I don't make no appointments, I don't call and pay no bills. I don't do nothing that calls that involves me calling and talking to anybody on the phone. The only people I talk to on the phone is probably like my friends, but I do not call and talk to bill collectors. I don't call and talk to make my appointments for anything. I'm like, mom, I need to do blah, blah, blah. Can you, can you call and schedule this for me? Can you call and do this for me? So I guess we balance each other out when it comes to that. I would say so. She probably wouldn't say, but yeah that's funny okay you guys i am pulling up i am only five minutes late <laughs> it's okay i'll see y'all when we get in here i'll show y'all these raggedy nails before we start okay you saw y'all she's not even ready my point exactly so i said maybe we're gonna stay you know we're gonna uh stay everybody by bring do what? You wanna take this off? To do I'll for you, baby. She got some off. Oh, here we go. Here we Mm -hmm. I lose it. They don't send it to us. Uh, they don't send to me. I lost the money, and I don't even see my product either. Everything. They don't. I don't even see it.
no more like all right here you have no no more chain to be get a bit of no more room not all right uh leslie he's talking about for a bigger shop i know bigger shop but they don't have no more space that she can move next to them oh the next one that to be leslie already you know mm. yeah you like yeah, I'm late. I'm hungry too. I'm going to a pawn shop. You know you should have did that another day. day. I said like, hey, I went to pawn shop. <laughs> and you was late. Now you late on your appointments. I know. She always late. <laughs> but you left me anyway. See? Do you know my total is? Um, you see, I have a lift, right? Fifteen. Fifteen and my total eighty-five, one hundred. 100 and your nail. Uh, nine, 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 nine. So my nose. Yeah. So 85 for toes, 15 for lip. And then uh, this one like 120. That's be like what? 120? Two, 220 together. Everything. 220? Zell? Yeah, do it, do it. Um, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> baby. My ear pop about to come out of my ear because you. Die, Jesus. Jesus, that's your fault, baby. No. You hit my. <laughs> my... <laughs> oh my God. Oh my okay. God. Help me. Help you. Help you. Help me, y'all. Instagram to be uh, buy all the some stuff on your online. I think so, right? In my in my Instagram, my friend in Instagram, they know you. They know you uh, sell stuff in online. They buy mm -hmm. it. I think, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. I said that uh, you got any <laughs> new client from my website. Oh, come on, girl. I'm speak English, not Vietnamese. Okay. She's not speak See, English. <laughs> that's not English, baby. You try to speak English. Oh, I try. Okay, you're right. Okay, thank you, Sarah. I'm thank Brazil. you very much, Bobby. Okay. All right. You understand? I'm two twenty. Okay, two twenty even, baby. Okay. Two twenty even. And I found a cute outfit for the vision board party. So that's good. Oh no, I don't know. Now I'm about to go to the shoe store and find me like some pink boots or something to wear with my outfit for the vision board party. And I told my mom, I said, I'm not picking up no other shoe if it's not for the vision board party because I'm really OD right now. Yeah, I don't know which color I want. Girl, shut up. Oh, we. You done? Good. Let her go down. Okay. You know? No, I got it.
Okay, so we're inside. I have to use the restroom real quick, y'all, but let me show y'all my nails. So, these are my nails. Get into the details, okay? Get into them. A set, nothing less than, okay? Period. Don't ever play with Sarah. I always tell y'all, don't play with her. <clears throat> don't ever play with her, okay? These are fire for Valentine's Day, and it's gonna go perfect with my dress. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love. Y'all know I'm the long nail queen. <laughs> I love long nails. One day I'm gonna try short, but I love long nails. So pretty. It's just like the design that you could do with the long nails just be so popping. Imagine this on short nails. Eh. I mean, it'd be cute or whatever, but this? Yeah. Okay. And then I got my toes kind of ashy, but I got the chrome. But I got the chrome toenails like I used to get. So, yeah. Period. <clears throat> so, I'm just going to show y'all the boots really quick that I got. I'm gonna just show y'all the shoes that I got really quick, basically. I'm not really gonna show y'all the, uh, I'm not really gonna show y'all the, uh, I'm so hungry. The, um, all the clothes I got, because I got some clothes, but they just like stuff that I like, I don't know. I mean, they cute clothes, of course, because I want to buy them, but it's just like, I just feel like it's not necessary for me to show y'all. But anyway, so I'm gonna show y'all Um, hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all what I got real quick. This is like the next day. And I was like, let me quit being lazy. The last time, it wasn't even that I was lazy. I was lazy too, but I had other stuff to do too, so I had to hurry up. So I had got this jacket. Super cute, like trench jacket. Very warm, good quality. This was $34.99. Love it. It's, very, it's long and it's so cute. Love that. And this is this shirt that I got to go under it when I do wear it. So it's just this plain shirt and it's like stretchy and the whole back is out. And you got you tie it in the back. So that's that. I got this pink hat. Super cute. Pink hat. And then I got like some chill attire from this store that was like cheap. But it's like a black, it's like a black two-piece. So these are some black pants. And then this is the top. It's like a sweater. And it's like a cute sweater. So I got this. Super cute. And I got this red because I know it's going to fit my body right. Like this type of material fits my booty so good. It's like stretchy. So these are like some red pants. And then this red top going to have my TBC. Because you know the boobs is there. And I got this little red top to go with it. And then I got this little black dress. This is like for when it starts getting warm again. This is literally like a black fitted dress. Super cute, V-cut. Show a little cleavage. And I got this white hoodie, crop hoodie, that I was gonna wear with these white boots. Super cute, with some jeans or something, or some leggings. And then I got this shirt, cause it was like half off, and I thought it was cute, but I don't know what I'm wearing with, but I think, I think it's cute to like, you could dress this up. So I got this. This is cute. I don't know what bottoms I will wear with that though, but it's cute. So I got all of that. And then I got this. So when I was leaving the store, after I got that pink trench coat, I left the store and as I was walking out, I seen a pink bubble coat. It wasn't no way I was in that standing store. Y'all know I love pink. So I had to get the pink bubble coat. Literally bubble gum pink, literally. Super cute. Love this. Has to have. Must have. How much was this? $25.99. Has to have it. So that's really all I got. And then I got all those shoes, which are right here. So I had a good little shopping day. And yeah, I wanted to show y'all. Because I know y'all was going to be mad if I didn't. Because I know y'all was going to be mad. I'm like, Barbie, you could have showed us. So there you go. Okay. There you go. <laughs> So, you gotta love a deal, right? So, I've always wanted, like, boots. Like, I love boots. But every time I would go to the store, they wouldn't have the boots I wanted. But today, don't play with me. Okay. So. Y'all remember boots I showed y'all? I said I was gonna get probably one of them colors. I got all three. These. Sweetie. These are must-haves. Are you dumb? If I would have left these in the store, like, Barb, are you, you're for real. 
you're done. Okay, so I got those super comfy, super cute. Then I see these. I had to grab these. Uh, what? With a, some shorts? Girl, get into the detail. Yeah. So these are just like my Fashion Nova pink ones, but these are gold. So those are those. These were, in, these are an eight. I wore eight and a half. I got eight and a half and everything else, but these were an eight. Still have to have them. And they fit perfect though. So, yes, yes, yes. Okay. You know we gotta keep it classy. You know we gotta keep it classy and get the black. So I stole the black. These were still for real. Like, these were the last ones. All the other sizes was big, like 10s, 11. I had to get these. It was like they were in the store for me. They were left for me, you know? They was like, Barbie, this is your chance. And I was like, you know what? F it, I'm going to do it. So, next, I got these. These are the black ones. Oh, they're the same color. Okay. Oh, they're the same color. I got these. Okay. I got these. Okay. 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 The, the cardigan I'm wearing to my vision board party. See, this is the only shoe I was supposed to get until I seen all those other ones. This is to go with my outfit for the vision board party. I don't know if I'm gonna wear these or the white ones, but these are cute and I got a pink hat. So these with possibly this. And I got like, I'm wearing like some light denim jeans and this crop nudish brownish shirt. It's cute. Okay, and then the last boot. So this is the place we go to to get shoes at a like a, a good price for a deal. And then I got this. Had to grab these, the scrunch with a rhinestone. What a shoe. This is a shoe, a statement, honey. Y'all know I love a heel. Do I look like a tennis shoe, bitch, to you? Okay, period, like Cash I'll say, I love these. So now I gotta figure out where I can put this stuff in my closet, y'all, because I have no clue. But I had to show y'all the pieces before we end the video, because I'm gonna end the video. Um, all the boots that I showed you at the beginning, those were thirty five dollars, and then these two, um, were thirty. This is the hat. It's gonna be cute when I do my makeup and stuff. I'm gonna be looking like a. It's gonna be a vibe. But yeah, y'all. So that's my day. I'm gonna film this um, video real quick, and then I gotta put this stuff up. So. I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog with me. I took y'all everywhere I went except for Chick-fil-A. I went to Chick-fil-A before I got my nails done because Sarah was running late. So I was like, I'm about to leave me some Chick-fil-A. So I went to go some Chick-fil-A. And um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all, so I just got done filming a course video. Literally just now. And I'm trying to edit it, right? So I'm about to edit it so I can put it up tonight. And Bay takes me talking about what you doing. I'm like... Just got done filming the video. He was like, okay, I'm gonna leave the shop in a minute. I said, okay. So after I hang up with him, Steve calls me downstairs. He's like, you just got a delivery. You got a flower delivery. Yeah, I got some more flowers. Oh my God. <laughs> so I was gonna end the video, but I'm gonna end it after this, y'all. What? And then we was talking about two streets the other night. He was like, Actually, we was at the game. We was at the Mavs game. He was like, you like Tiff Street? I was like, yeah. He got me some cookies delivered. I got to put myself together before I cry. Okay. <laughs> I'm just so happy. Okay. I'm not going to cry. It's just me, it's just the little things, y'all. It's just the little things to me that just, because I just deserve so much. Y'all just don't understand, like, I just really been through a lot of stuff and I really just deserve the good part, okay? Not the bad, I'm tired of the bad part, I just want the good part. And this is the good part, he's the good part. Like, I'm just so happy. So, I don't wanna cry on camera, I'm probably gonna cry when I get done. But I have to show y'all my roses. They so beautiful. <laughs> um. So yeah, I'm happy. Oh, 
Oh, and he got me chocolate chip and walnuts. That's my favorite kind. <laughs> it's literally perfect. Mm. But okay, y'all. I'm about to finish editing this video so I can upload it. But I have to show y'all my real busy. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe, and I already know. See you in the next video. Bye, y'all.